Developing controversy tonight over a historic trip for President Obama. The president today went to visit the Islamic Society of Baltimore, his first trip to a U.S. mosque. While the White House says this visit was about fighting intolerance, this particular mosque was once home to an imam with known ties to multiple terror groups. The first thing I want to say is two words that Muslim Americans don't hear often enough, and that is thank you. You've seen too often people conflating the horrific acts of terrorism with the beliefs of an entire faith. And of course, recently we've heard inexcusable political rhetoric against Muslim Americans that has no place in our country. No surprise then that threats and harassment of Muslim Americans have surged. The best way for us to fight terrorism is to deny these organizations legitimacy and to show that here in the United States of America, we do not suppress Islam. Brooke Goldstein is a human rights attorney. Mohammed Chowdhury is communications director for the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA. Saba Ahmed is the president and founder of the Repu Republican Muslim Coalition. Saba and Mohammed were both with President Obama today. Great to see you all. All right, so Brooke, first of all, set it up for us. What, what is the, why is this particular mosque controversial? It's controversial uh, for many reasons because it has very well documented ties to terrorism. I mean, just look at the imam at the mosque, Mohammed Adam El Sheikh, who is the imam for 15 years total, was a member of the Muslim Brotherhood in Sudan in the 1970s. The Muslim Brotherhood being the mother of all terrorist organizations that birthed Hamas, that birthed Al Qaeda. Uh, he told his congregation in 2004 that suicide bombings were justifiable by fatwas. He worked for a group, the Islamic Africa Relief Agency, that was designated by the Treasury Department as a terror organization, raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for the Taliban, for Al-Qaeda. I mean, if the point of visiting this mosque was to show that mainstream Muslims are not extremists, then I think Obama's choice of the mosque really undermined that message. This is the type of mosque that President Obama thinks is mainstream Islam, represents mainstream mm -hmm. Muslims, one that is tied to designated terrorists. Mohammed, does, does she have a point? You know, I'm not sure what happened um, and what his ties are, but as a member of the Amdiya Muslim community, Muslims who believe in the Messiah and the largest organized Muslim community in the country, we believe that there's a response to this is a campaign at trueislam.com where we have 11 points that the extremists use to radicalize Muslims and Muslim youth in particular. You're trying to educate young Muslims as to how, it's, how they start to get you. Absolutely, and what we're asking Americans to do, and we, we sent a letter to 2,100 imams across the country and inviting them to endorse these 11 points. So I invite this imam and all imams in the country so to your cause join is us. Just. Your cause is just, you're, you're trying to, to shed light to young Muslims on how it starts, because what your survey found is they, they don't realize when people are starting to radical, radicalize them. The, the questions aren't on the nose. But, but on the subject of this mosque, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you, Saba. What do you think? Because you were there. I mean, you say, you, you said on this program, we go to the mosque to pray, Megan. We go to the mosque to pray. Do you think maybe there was more harm than good done here by the choice of this particular mosque, uh, given the former imam there? Well, Megan, President Obama came to this mosque to cultivate Muslim American voters for the upcoming presidential election. I think he's gathering support from the Muslim American community, and it's time for the Republican to do the same thing. There may have been issues with the mosque, I don't know, but the point is that the, he is, the, this is an election year, and Democrats are going out of their way. Bernie Sanders was recently at a mosque. All the Democrats are all over the Muslim community. And even though Islamic values align with the Republican Party, we are pro-life, traditional marriage, we are pro-business, trade, uh, things that we care about all align with the Republican Party, but sadly, all of the Democrats are getting all the votes because they're reaching out, going out of the way to be nice to Muslims. Mm -hmm. I think I want to see Republican candidates start showing up in mosques, and you know, it, I think that's the best way to get over the fears of Islam is to start visiting local mosques, and especially speaking in at a terror-affiliated mosque is not how you cultivate the Muslim American community unless you think all Muslim Americans are sympathetic to terror. And that is exactly the type of message that Obama it's is sending when he speaks at a mosque that hosts speakers such as Anwar al-Awlaki, the American-born Al-Qaeda cleric. 
ISB's own website links to the page of the Muslim Brotherhood spiritual leader Al Qaradari used to link and then they took it down which and, and Qaradari calls the killing of Americans a religious duty but this is where leadership this is where leadership matters and i think what we need to do is open up all our mosques the the head of the amdi muslim community his holiness mirza masrur ahmed has said come transparency in mosques 24/7 open them up so we see what's going on inside mosques so we uh, alleviate the fears of americans we care about national security just as much as everyone else and opening up our mosque okay, but so. so given that isn't there a better choice i mean there was one report out today that this mosque was under surveillance but that has not been confirmed by fox news but you know why not just pick one that's like there's no problem right saba like just so that we don't have to have this discussion right at the end of the day because obviously some mosques are used to radicalize youth and as you point out some mosques are used just to pray exactly and yes, we can find better choices, but I don't know what would be the perfect mosque for such for a Republican candidate to show up. Maybe in the, a New Hampshire mosque might be a good idea. Here's but what I, I would, think. Here's what I would <laughs> right, say. They're, they're, they're going to be overloaded 70, with the Republicans. Uh, we have 70 mosques around the country, and I invite all elected officials to visit our mosque. We and have 2,200 plus all mosques those, all over. All, all, of those, all of those mosques. All right, well, maybe uh, we'll, we'll go together. Community. We'll, well go we, together. And we yes, invite we you as well. I'd love to host you, Megan, at a mosque. I think we should go together. Yes, definitely. We should totally do that. Listen, thank you all for being here. Good discussion. Thank, thank you, you for having me.